All right. Back. Again. All right. With and him and him and me. Yes. Nicely. Nicely done. Last time we won. Now we're going in here. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, yes. Is that a USB cable on his table? Hmm. Headphone. Bad time for my headphones to be messing up on. Ah. It's bad enough. That's good. It's very boring. Mother is so much fun. Wow, he's like, you don't obey me. And that's the way I programmed you. Do you also program them to be dicks? Uh, yes, they come with a dick program. And he broke the remote control. You him. fool! Now we have to get up to change the channel. I created you. I loved you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you need to be level 30 to bust this with any mini, but I don't know. Really? I, I think, I don't know. But of course, like, all my characters are level 40, so that doesn't matter. The only door my players can't, my, uh, the, the, the characters can't bust open is the level 50 ones. <laughs> nice. Well, I think there's a level 45 gate somewhere in the game. I'll uh, get to it eventually. Ah, I said I'll get to it eventually. We'll deal with them when I'm ready. Uh, uh. Oh my god, does that mean I'm Dr. Drew? I don't know. Whoa. Well, I always knew I was a mad scientist. I always knew I was destined for leather chaps. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't completed them yet. No, don't! Don't open that door! Reference there, <laughs> for anyone who gets it. Nice. Unleash a war machine that can destroy the entire universe. Flash forward. You scared away the birds. <laughs> <sighs> no! Alright. And with three key blasts. Three, three key blasts. He can blow up this facility. Yet. But. Yet. Alright. Yeah. That's. Or whatever. And yet, at a stronger level, because you get him as a playable character. Spoiler. He's level 27 right now, when you get him. And at level 40, it takes like 5 or 6 blasts to take out a cheetah with a leather jacket. So, yeah. I can destroy a mountain, but damn, that cheetah with a leather jacket, uh... Damn, that jacket has a high resistance. What kind of epic loot did you get that from? Must kill Goku. It's like endgame equipment right there. That jacket. Primary objective. Kill Goku. Secondary objective. Flowers and birds. Pick flowers. Watch birds. Family night, this is like... Mm-hmm. It's good thing we've got some coupons. None of us is power powerful enough to take him, but I took down half his health. But I'm almost max level. level. I beat this game before. No, that happened. But <laughs> yeah, I was gonna go back and switch to Vegeta to make it canon the next part, but Gohan's my strongest character, so I'm like, it's my strongest guy right now. I don't care. It's boss fight. So sure, everything else will be canon, hopefully. I don't know, I may... 
I may take uh, Trunks or Gohan to fight Cooler. Ah, uh, you won't take Goku? Nah. Maybe. I don't know. I'm tempted to go through that a couple times to see what he actually says if it's different. Pick. Oh, actually, it is. Really? Um, I did Gohan for it, and he's like, "Are you Goku?" He's like, "No, I'm his son." Oh, that's kind of like dramatic. I'm like, oh, "Man, don't do that." I know. I think that's how it went, it, from memory at least. That was pretty epic. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, when I get to it, which will be quite a bit tomorrow, I'll get to it. We're gonna drive, but we can fly. We're gonna drive. Why are we driving? Because I wanna. I wanna drive in the car. Did you say Goku? <laughs> no, actually, I didn't say anything remotely similar to that. Thanks for listening. Uh, at this point, I realized, wow. This is a pretty easy fight. Maybe I should have just stuck to cannon and stick with Vegeta. Because you only have to get her to half health. We can completely beat you, but you know. I mean, I'd totally just smash her in a little nuts and bolts, but nah. Five hours later. More like five minutes. Long. Oh my god, only Krillin's left. We're doomed! <laughs> We're all gonna die. Let's get the buzz away. Don't worry guys. Oh, don't worry guys, I'll come and save you. I'm Krillin, I'm awesome! We're all gonna die. This is... But this is a game. Oh my god, it broke the floor floor. Yes, it is. Guess what, 18? 18. Is he? He's 17, right? Yeah, the guy's 17. Okay. Guess what, 17? It is a game. And guess what I like to do? Power level. Arg. Oh, I hired Vegeta. Arg. I'll get you. Speaking of pirates, I think... National <laughs> Talk Like a Pirate Day was like this Monday, I think. Nice. Yeah. Oh, burn! Ooh, ooh, that's that's. Even funny. if you joined us, it would have done it. Even if you helped, it would have been all for naught. Thanks. Yeah, good confidence. But for Krillin, though, what just happened? It's like, yeah, he liked that. Yeah. Although with all his uselessness, I'm surprised he doesn't just. Like, I'm done with this. Hey, he has his useful moments. Like, remember where he completely missed with the spirit bomb? Wait, that was useful. <laughs> that was the joke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Krillin, you gotta let him go. Ah, thank you, Krillin. I'm letting him go. It's like, crap, I missed. <laughs> Is that the actual joke? I think so. <laughs> Uh, maybe not. The let him go thing was... He promised he was... You'd be good. Yeah, but oh, yeah. He promised he'd be good. You're not serious, are you? If you promise, we'll let you go. <laughs> yeah, I promise. Uh, we go to the new unlocked area. I think this was... Was this... Were we able to go here yet? Did you see on the minimap? It's not on. I don't remember. All I know is we need to scan Mr. Popo. You know, Mr. Popo could probably go down and just just wipe, just clear, destroy the earth if he wanted to. We have one word, and you know the word. Oh! Uh, oh, no! No! <laughs> It's a little side area with nice fly pads. This guy. 
I just realized something. You didn't scan corn. What are you talking about? I do scan it. Oh, you did? Oh. I you did. did I? We'll see. No, oh, you did. So basically with the corn is, if you get three fish, you have to come down here and talk to them first, of course. If you get three fish, which is the max fish you can hold, you can come down here, give him the fish, and he gives you another sense of meat. Oh my god, he has better stats than Popo. Well, then hey, that was a sacred water. <laughs> Damn it, Corn, quit power leveling. Well, I love it how in, in Dragon Ball it was like a couple episodes for Goku just to get to the just to get to that just to get the corn right there and then all of a sudden we're like whoosh oh hey Kami <laughs> in fact he didn't even know that Kami was up there I know he didn't even know at all he thought that was the top of the tower which it actually kind of was in a sense it technically was but then when he did the power pole did, did the power pole stay there when he used it to get up to uh, the I don't know, it's been so long. I think he eventually did because, you know, the magic stick eventually just disappeared in the show. I mean, you can't use Nimbus. Well, you could, could you? I mean, like, he said, oh, no use an Nimbus, and yeah, it's like, oh, that's just for training purposes. I don't know, no, I don't think he probably could. And I think Goku was like, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to do it all by myself. Androids will destroy the future, but this is a different future. Now they're a bunch of nice guys. No, you're wrong. This is a different present. <laughs> Whoa. I know for a fact that we saved the day from the evil androids because then I wouldn't have a third game. Made. Oh. <laughs> so technically I am from the the time machine. And now for Mike's favorite part of the game. We're gonna investigate time travel. Yes! It's like, oh my god, a different time machine. How is this happening? Trunks, future Trunks that is, is definitely one of my favorite characters in the show. First off, he has a sword that he uses. And second of all, he's a time traveler. Yeah, he's one of my favorite characters in the show. Uh, his new moves is burning. What is it? What is it called again? Burning attack. Burning finger. Wait, no. <laughs> Basically, and it just stunned. And the is burning red. Stunned them. Uh, don't mind that. Man. Just near the end of the video. That's why. Let's go to Master Roshi's, because I thought I could learn his hold a hold melee in attack, but he like already knows it. So. Well, he used against, uh, King Cole. He did, didn't he? Yeah. No, oh, Frieza. Sorry, Frieza. He blasted the crap out of King Cole. That's right. Cyber it was, it was a little key blast, and all of a sudden, just... I love how he fights Goku, and Goku blocks his sword using one finger. That's pretty badass. Hey, check that in there. Those look like the herbs from the first game. Technically, I swear. Alright, well, we gotta go in a video. Bye. Bye.